Okay, good morning, oh, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the latest Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Um, for agenda today we've got uh, three items, well, the Contributor Summit, the video uploads and joint summer student presentation. Are there any other uh, topics folks want to mention up front? If not, feel free to, at the end of the meeting, if something comes up, let me know and we're happy to discuss it. Okay. Does this look like it's recording to you? Just double check. Yes, yes it is. Okay, great. Okay, so um, I'm deliberately for this meeting, just not going through the actions. I know um, I've followed up, Alyssa is away currently and Skylar um, is with the 4th of July, she's not around today. And, but I've been following up with her on the blog post and we're a bit behind on those, but still the intention is there to get them done. But we're taking the pressure off any kind of deadlines for now. Okay, so contributor summit. Um, one thing we have said is that they will, we will do a contributor summit on August 12th, uh, so just before DevOps World, Jenkins World, and it will be similar structure to the ones we've had in previous years, except this time we'll do it in conjunction with um, other CDF projects. So we'll while we will still call it Jenkins Contributor Summit, we'll also have, um, we'll also be calling it, you know, CDF Contributor Summit and the other communities involved, which are Tecton specifically, um, they'll be also um, kind of running a, a co-located Contributor Summit. So what we think this means in practice, because this is the first time doing it that this way, is that in the morning um, we'll have some shared sessions across all the projects so any shared topics um, related to continuous delivery or maybe things like you know joint outreach programs or events uh, we'll talk about those all in one room and then after those shared topics I don't know if that will be mid-morning or after lunch then the different projects will go break out into different tables and can do a bit more kind of unconference style. So um, I have a meetup group page set up for that, if I can find it. So in the meantime, are there any questions or thoughts about what would be good to do there, how it should work? Yeah, one question uh, is about CDF governance. So will be the special uh, sessions uh, about CDF governance and other things? Because yeah, from what I see, many contributors, especially in Jenkins project, uh, they uh, still don't understand how CDF works. So maybe something like CDF 101 would be really helpful for the summit. Uh, yeah, let's put that down as topics. So we can have a specific session on that. And I think there's also some work to do with CDF in terms of Jenkins uh, governance. So I think there's conversations we should have um, with Jenkins about how to, what structure makes most sense going forward in terms of, I think we talked about um, sort of the replacement for the the steering committee meetings and a new kind of stewardship board made up of Jenkins contributors. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be a really good discussion to have face to face. Um, so shall we put that down as one of the potential topics potentially? Yeah, it would be interesting. Okay, that's good. Uh, Okay, so I was just going to show, for now, I do have the, we have the page up on the, the Jenkins developer and user meetup group. So I'll copy this link 
Um, so we've got a link to the Eventbrite page, which I can link here. It was also reposted on mutab.com, if I recall correctly. Sorry, could you repeat that? Oh, yeah, this is the link you're showing. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so we're asking people to register. So it's a free event, uh, but they do need to register just so that we can plan accordingly for numbers and food. And um, additionally, it's likely we'll have a, an appreciation event in the evening. Um, again, it might be up-leveled as a CDF appreciation event and we invite every, the other projects to come along. Um, but this isn't fully confirmed. I think it was very likely to happen, so people should plan to attend, but we're just um, waiting to hear one final confirmation before we post it publicly. Oh, and look, we already have folks who can attend. So that's great to be there, Marky. Any specific topic you might want to speak about or hear about? Uh, I can do... I mean, I think we talked about the Google Summer of Code. Uh, Oleg, will you be there for this? Well, it really depends on my visa. Yeah, so we, I think we had talked a little bit about in the, in the Google Summer of Code SIG, uh, Martin and I will be there, so maybe we could do sort of a joint topic on that. You also, Martin will be there, if I understand correctly. Uh, oh, great. And uh, Jeff Pierce will, will be there as well, so we get four ORC admins. <laughs> well, basically, except me and Rick. Oh. Rick's going to be there, I believe. Oh, he's still waiting for visa. Oh, okay, so okay. subject to visa as well. Okay, well, fingers crossed for all of you. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, and no, I think uh, based on last year, I thought that the GSOC presence made a big difference in terms of uh, getting interest, getting more mentors. So it was definitely one of the, the kind of most active things that happened at the Contributor Summit and probably, um, I would say, I don't know for sure, but contributed to to the high levels of participation and just a lot of momentum. So yeah, speaking of that, maybe it makes sense to have a session or maybe there's a feeder for uh, whatever student programs, internship program, programs, because yeah. it's not only JSOC now, it's also outreach, it's community bridge, which we're trying to kick off. Um, uh, maybe Google coding, if you participate this year, I'm not sure. So yeah, if we have such joint session for whatever community program uh, say, and talk to other projects, because yeah, I'm not sure about Tikton, about uh, Spinnaker, but yeah, in Jenkins project we have some experience and we uh, can talk. So maybe we could have something on the CDF later level eventually. Yeah, I think that that's a great idea, and I've noticed um, like I'm trying to keep tabs on what the Tekton folks are doing and. Like they were keen to do a mentoring type program. And in some ways that's similar to Community Bridge. I think they're looking at the one Kubernetes does, which is pretty, uh, I think, big, wide scale in terms of just connecting up mentors at any time, at any point, um, regardless of internship program, but making sure people get connected to folks who can help them. Mm -hmm. So... It's also okay. something we could do. So yeah. basically we do it at Hawk now. So when people come to Peter and whatever, we try to guide them. Um, but yeah, having something more formalized, having entry points for that would be nice. Yeah, I think that would be good to figure out as well if we can work together and mm -hmm. yeah, just share resources. That would be nice. I have a question in the Eventbrite page for the computer uh, contributor summit. Yeah. It says uh, sale has ended. Uh oh. I don't know if that's supposed to be yeah, a say. Oh, so there's no way to. Yeah, sign up is not available. Okay, that is good debugging. Um, yeah, let me get that in Skyla and ask her to fix that except oh she's away today okay um let me make a note
Am I still online? I can, I see you. I hear you. So we uh, trace to just froze. Tracy, are you still there? No. No. Nope. Oh, she she dropped. Should I pause the recording? Oh no, nope, she's. Uh -huh. If you have access to that, uh, of course. I just didn't know there is such feature like pausing recording. <laughs> yeah, there there is a feature for the host, and I think because I got here at a certain oh. point. There you go, right. Tracy, you're back. Yes, sorry, I think my connection is flaky. I'm just going to go off video, but um, is that still recording? It is still recording. Okay, perfect. I think I set it to record to the cloud bit, so hopefully... Um, it will keep doing that. Okay, so uh, uh, I don't know where I dropped off, but um, I think, had we finished with the Contributor Summit? Yeah, okay. Um, so just video uploads, just to summarize the discussion we had just before the meeting started. Um, I need to get access to the share um, to the YouTube channel so I can upload these videos directly. Um, and so I'll ping uh, one of the folks who has that access. And in the meantime, if I can make those available on Google Drive or public place, like I guess the Zoom cloud for this recording, then perhaps Mark Wait or Ola can help. And then we'll have a, a playlist um, oh, and all access playlists can be configured to automatically add by labels, so that's awesome. Okay, so on to the next item, which is the joint summer student presentations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm screen sharing for you right now, so okay. that uh, you get a better bandwidth. Thank you. So, who's, is this your topic, Oleg? Do you want to lead the discussion, or is that you, Marky? Uh, this one? Yes. Yeah, so basically, it's what we were discussing uh, again yesterday at the GSOC meeting. So, now we have uh, five active GSOC projects in the Jenkins community, plus two outreach students. Uh, plus the kickoff community bridge, uh, and plus uh, there are uh, summer students uh, working on JSOC and other projects. So there are at least three organizations uh, which also have uh, students uh, who work on uh, Jenkins related things. Um, and the idea was that what if actually, what if we do a joint session so that uh, we just uh, bring everybody, it might be useful for community bonding, it might be useful to just share some experience between th stakeholders. And yeah, since we do all the recordings and events in JSOC anyway, so for us it's not a bit ever, not a big overhead, but uh, yeah, uh, we could uh, host it as a part of uh, second or third uh, phase evaluations in JSOC. What's the timeline for that? I, th I think this will be great. Uh, hmm. The second evaluation will be from 20s to something like 26th of July. Uh, and uh, the third evaluation is a bit more tricky because the third evaluation uh, collides with Jenkins uh, um, Fault, if I recall correctly. So it's mid August. Okay. So I was thinking rather about uh, the second evaluation. And this would be a virtual event, I expect, yes. Mm, yeah, it would be a virtual event. Uh, not so yeah, we can just uh, run Jenkins online meetup or whatever. Okay. Uh, have two sessions, one in the morning in the European Union for Europe and the uh, Asian and Pacific region. Another one is evening sessions of Americas and the Europe again. And yeah, we just uh, run several demos during each session plus Q&A. 
So that's how we have used to approach JSOC uh, over previous years and it worked pretty well. Yeah, no, I think that works well. And I think mm -hmm. uh, I saw that you'd already communicated that with uh, the folks doing outreachy and Matt Sicker seemed keen, like he was up for it. Yeah, I don't remember that, but yeah, maybe we communicated. Yeah, I think in, in principle it seemed fine. So mm -hmm. do we, I mean, I think we can go ahead and plan that as a job. Um, what do we need to do to work out what date to do? I mean, I'm happy to well, almost... Uh, I'll start to do them. So once I get uh, confirmations from JSOC or Cadence so that uh, they're fine, so far I get a plus one, I got a plus one from Marky, but other Orcadians haven't replied yet. Um, yet uh, I will start Doodle, and once we have agreement in Doodle, uh, we will just uh, schedule sessions. Great. Um, just for an online meetup, what? <coughs> I don't know why this matters, but it seems to. Um, in terms of the title, what would we call it as an event? This is a good uh, question. So, so maybe we wanted it. to represent, yeah, all the. Should we do it as a kind of a outreach, like part of this advocacy sig, or? Why not? Or we can just call it uh, something like. Summer project demos or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So final name is yet to be defined, but he, he, we will just have a draft of the meetup announcements so that uh, all the uh, event managers will be able to review it. Um, yeah, why don't we, we could go ahead and just start creating a draft now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try sharing my screen again. Okay, so I'll stop sharing uh, so that you can take over. Yeah, let's see if I can share. And hopefully, uh, internet holds up. Okay, so I'm in Jenkins online meetup, and let's just put a placeholder for it. So this would be Jenkins summer demos. Should we put GSOC and Outreachy in there, maybe? Mm, yes, JSOC outreach plus, yeah, maybe if Sladen is interested to join because he already contributed some bits for JCASC. So, yeah, maybe we will let community bridge, but maybe we can start from there. Or oh, maybe we just do it like this. Yeah, drink some demos. JSOC outreach and more. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's placeholder for now. And um, so rough dates, it will be this week, 22nd yeah. so, and not. Yeah, basically it will be 23rd, 24th of, or 25th because okay. uh, 26th is a revolution deadline for JSOC. We don't want to postpone it till the very last date. On Monday, it just gives uh, students and the mentors some time to do the right runs. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put it just there for now. I know this. I don't know what time zones these end up. And would it be an hour? We're going to do two different sessions, right? Yeah, it will be probably 90 minutes. Or maybe one hour. So it really depends on how many speakers we get. Because yeah, I will yeah. need to... Uh, uh, reach out to uh, three communities. So it's uh, CVCRM, uh, 4C, and uh, Eclipse, if I recall correctly. Uh, yes, yeah, so okay. we, we will just need to talk to them. If they join uh, the sessions, then yeah, they will be a bit longer. Okay, so what else? I mean, we don't have to fix, do this all now, but it would be good to know what to follow up with, do we have something we can use for this, or do we should we maybe well, I can request something? We have some uh, G, uh, GSO card work, but uh, yeah, for this sessions, probably we'll need to create something else. Okay, so we need some artwork, um, just to and yeah. then a description. Mm -hmm. And so, this would just depends once we get the speakers. 
here so I can prepare this content. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we have the agenda and then the location. We'll just need to have the YouTube mm -hmm. live and we'll need a host um, for it. Yeah, also awesome. because for YouTube live, we are still limited by 10 participants. So okay. Usually it means that if you have three or four students, plus we have at least one org admin who runs the meeting, plus we have mentors, and we have a capacity limit. So maybe um, you'll finally use Zoom for these sessions. Yeah, so we can use Zoom. The other thing we could try, although maybe this is not the right first time to try it, but there's a platform um, I'm seeing some other communities use for webinars, which is called Crowdcast. Um, and that, although I think that might work better for just a couple of people presenting, but there are things like you can have a green room and you can pull in speakers um, and kind of swap in out speakers and there's a, a nice chat integrated, but actually maybe Zoom will be simpler for this time. Yeah, we can go to my address. If we just have one mentor from one project, we can uh, do it in uh, Hangouts on Air. Okay, I'll add you as a co organizer. Mm -hmm. Then we'll see who else we can get. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you can just see if it is draft and we will uh, clean it up later. So I have access uh, to this page, I can edit it on my own. Great. Just to do. Okay, so yeah, so let's get that in place and then uh, let me go back to. Okay, I'm just gonna write this in while well, Alex, okay. Technically, we can survive without graphics because you know, we use uh, Jenkins Online Meetup. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need the host and we need the time. And we've got the graph, which I can link to. Nope. Yeah, no worries. Uh, these links are private anyway. So only event managers okay. can access to them and the event managers know where to find them. Okay, and we're likely, to, yeah, you said we'll do this mm -hmm. too. Good, and then we're reaching out to, so GSOC, Outreachy, and it's, you said Eclipse GSOC as well, potentially? Yeah, uh, so Eclipse, uh, CRM, uh, and uh, FOSI. So for FOSI, everything is organized because yeah, I'm a mentor there. So it's not a big deal for me. Uh, and for two other projects, uh, I know the context of org admins, so I can just send a message and see whether they reply or not. Yeah, I'm happy to reach out to the Eclipse GSOC folks. Um, but yeah, I think if we set our date, once we set a date based on um, the Jenkins GSOC students, then we can just reach out to them and say, hey, if you could join, it would be great to add you to the agenda. Something well, like we can just send a doodle to them. So then they can also vote. By the way, maybe it's so. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's Eclipse Foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else on this presentation? That's fine. Yeah, it'll be good to just get. I think we've. We haven't had any online meetups for a while, so it'll be good to just get those going again. Yeah, so. And we do most, uh, yeah, we mostly do demo set uh, meetings. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm.
Okay, next topic. Um, we have get a channel for newcomers, very created, but need people to help with balancing the load. Yeah, so basically it's what we were discussing a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, it's just an uh, item for update. Uh, my plan was to create this channel. And mm -hmm. before that, I will send a message to the developer mailing list. So if I find uh, a uh, few people who are interested to spend some time there. Well, in JSOC, we regularly receive messages because apparently many newcomers end up in a JSOC Gitter channel. Yeah, makes uh, sense. But uh, yeah, we can uh, uh, just create a new channel for that. Oleg, I can help in that channel. No, then yeah, we can just create that. Great. Have you okay. sent the email already? Is that something I should reply to or not yet? No, I will send it. Okay, I'll keep a lookout and yeah, I can add, just volunteer visibly in front of people and hopefully it will encourage yeah. other folks to, to join in. Um, but yeah, no, I think that will be nice kind of entry point for people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I will start the documentation so that it points to the right uh, place because now we have a Jenkins IO slash participate page. But yeah. this page doesn't really provide any entry point uh, contact uh, for interested contributors. Oh, yeah, six months ago, so I added uh, Gitter uh, contacts uh, to many pages. So all uh, Jenkins IO pages support uh, referencing uh, a Gitter or Slack channels via metadata. Um, but yeah, oh. once uh, the channel is created, I'll uh, add it to there as well. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be good to have. Um, another topic, um, if you're done on that one, but I think that will be really good to do and just kind of get people more and more involved and mm -hmm. Maybe even find a way for once people are kind of on ramp, they're happy to help. I know some schemes you kind of have it, so people are encouraged to you know give back once they're more and more up to speed, which seems to work well for outreach and GSOC. So maybe a more general one would be great. Um, I was just going to bring up the uh, Jenkins IO, uh, sorry, the GitHub to take a look at the. How we're doing on pull requests there? Uh, could be better, but yeah. So we have a few pending blog posts. Um, uh, uh, the most of them are from JSOC. We lent them. So, okay. so mm -hmm. do you, is there anything I can help with on these? No, JSOC blog posts are fine. The blog post from Devin uh, in the top, uh, I mean, the second pull request from the top is also ready to go. I believe you will merge it today. Okay, but because we need the merge now, like we shouldn't, like people are planning to do it. Yeah, right. so for us, the biggest problem is about the documentation pull requests. Uh, but yeah, this documentation, uh, uh, pull requests uh, really need some assistance from uh, documents special interest group. So, Sorry, but, uh, which one is that one? Is that this one? No, four pull requests in the bottom. This one? Yeah, Docker image and documentation, it's something, it's a leftover from Java 11. So, yeah, I'll just be young people because I work with other in there, so I'll just check the status. And to, uh, three other pull requests, yeah, they came from contributors whom I do not really know. But yeah, yeah the yeah. pull requests seem to be reasonable and uh, it would be great if we finally integrate them. Yeah. So ignoring the on hold ones, this one I was tempted to just unfortunately close it because it's been a while and I don't think um, this. It's been sitting there ever since I've been here, but I don't think, uh, unfortunately, I think people have moved on. Mm. Is that something we can do or just ask people to reopen it? Okay, so maybe we can bring up it uh, again tomorrow. 
to the documentation special interest group. So okay. if somebody is interested to take it over there, maybe we could revive it. But okay. it's not uh, measurable in the current state. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you do that in the, that doc, otherwise I'm going to recommend we, we just close it and let the folks know, involved say if they are interested and they reopen it, then we can get somebody to work with them on it. Or I can help mm -hmm. connect them with somebody. Okay, great. So, yeah, I think just see what we can do to help keep things ticking over. Yeah, it's really great all the the GSOC posts coming out now. So and yeah, as you if you could keep letting me know in the Gitter, I can keep tweeting them out. Mm -hmm. Sure. Great. Okay, I think that's everything I had from my side. Anything else for today? I don't have anything. Great. Um, well, I think this is really good and lots of exciting things coming up. So, yeah, thanks everybody. And yeah, we'll follow up offline. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming to the meeting. And yeah, hopefully, okay. uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to discuss more GSOC topics. I'm um, sorry, not to agenda this whole topics next time. Sorry. Yeah. And the next meeting will be at kind of the later time and uh, hope to have uh, some folks back in like Skylar and Alyssa. Okay. okay. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Have a good one.